The Crash Bandicoot franchise was one of the milestones in the PS1 era. It conquered thousands of fans around the world and became one of the most remembered in the world of games. The success was such that soon after the series launched for the PS1 came more games for the next generation successor consoles. Remembering that years later the trilogy that was initially released for Sony's first PlayStation won a remake available for several platforms including Xbox. And to honor the three games in the series, in this video we'll bring you the 10 hardest levels of the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. Ten, Night Fight, Crash 2 I don't know about you, but dark levels are always harder to beat. Especially when you have time to activate the light, as is the case with this stage. Night Fight becomes difficult because if you are late you cannot see the enemies ahead and these enemies can bump into you at any time. If you need to go the other way, the task becomes even more difficult. For this reason, this level is in the 10th position. Nine Mad Bombers Crash Three. This level becomes difficult, especially for those who do not have much affinity with flight simulator games. It is a very different level from the others. Therefore, finishing this level becomes a little more difficult. In it, you need to shoot down the bigger planes, but there are smaller planes that will try to take you down. And if your energy bar is low, you need to forget about your mission and try to find med kits. 8. Fumbling in the Dark, Crash 1 It is another dark level that you need to be fast while you have the light mask. Just like the night fight level, if you are late, you stay in the dark. And since you can't see anything, you will probably fall into a hole, because at this level, it's full of them. To make the mission even more difficult, there are some axes in the way and some enemies. Seven Area 51, Crash 3. The difficulty at this level is to compete with the flying saucers. The first is that they trick you when you follow them, so that you fall into the hole easily and they go over the holes. If you bump into them, they get you off track. And the police cars that move in the middle of the track make you hit them and you are late and lose positions. 6. Piston It Away, Crash 2 At this level, we have several nitro boxes scattered along the way. So all calm is still little. Most enemies require jumping skills. Some bars that hit the floor can crush you when you need to get under them, so be careful. This level will be in 7th position. 5. Totally Bear, Crash 2 What makes this level difficult is not only that you ride the polar bear, but it is very dark and difficult to see where you are going or how far you need to jump, reaching the end gives no reward, which means that you need to break all the boxes to get the gem. All I can say is good luck when you reach that level. 4. Native Fortress, Crash 1 Fourthly we have this level. Here are thorn bars to end our lives. Remembering that carnivorous plants are dangerous and they are eager to devour you. As you advance through the level, there are still limbs on the platforms that make them slippery making the level even harder. Also remembering that the level can get a little boring as most of the time we move in vertical mode and when we fall off a platform we have to start all over again. 
3. The High Road It's fine that at this level we have a few varieties of enemies, but don't be happy about it. The whole level pretty much, we have to balance on ropes, dodge turtles, and be very careful where we step, as at any time those planks on the ropes can break. Two, Stormy Ascent. This is a level that we advance almost exclusively in vertical mode. Just for that is harder. But to make matters worse, the stairs disappear and we have to calculate the exact moment by jumping on them. In addition to the steps, we have the platforms that move vertically. They are fast and if you don't hurry you have to wait the next time it comes. There aren't many enemies here, but the scenario itself becomes your enemy because of walls, spears and platforms that you have to wait to sink to jump next. The level is also a bit long, but thankfully we have the beloved checkpoint. One, slippery climb, crash one. This level is the same as Stormy Ascent, but even harder. The stage is the same and the enemies too. But at this level, crash movements need to be more precisely calculated. Here mobile platforms have variable movements, alternating between slow and fast, making it difficult to walk on them. To beat this level you need a lot of patience. But now I want to hear from you guys. Do you agree with me on this list or would you change anything? The difficulty of the levels depends on one's skill and practice. For some what may be easy, for others may be difficult. So I want you to leave your opinions in the comments. Don't forget to leave your like and also subscribe to the channel to follow the next videos. See you soon. Goodbye.